It's time to see some of the best new potential ones to watch cards in FIFA 18. These for me are going to be some of the greatest new cards that we'll see in the new FIFA. The FIFA 18 demo should be here in 11 days, so we've got that to look forward to. By the way, massive shout out to Roma Esports for sending me this amazing FIFA 17 signed El Shirawi card from Roma. It's so, it's so insane. Quiz question, which FIFA trailer did my name appear on with El Shirawi holding the shirt? If you, if you know, then you're a hardcore subscriber. First up though, guys, my predictions for a once to watch card will be Romelu Lukaku. I've gone with an 86 rating for this guy. I think he's, going to, he's already started to have a great season. I think he'll finish with a great season. I reckon he'll get 26 goals in this season's campaign, which would be obviously for United a great return. Anyone who's not a United fan, it's not a great return, but still, that's my prediction. I'm going to go with 86 once to watch card. And I think a lot of you guys may agree with that. I think that's about right. Could argue you may be higher than that um, as I think he was well I think he was 84 last season but still I think that's a good start I think he'll get a very good team in season card as well and by the way how amazing do those graphics look just insane work by the amazing designer Firefoot his link is down below but for me guys that Lukaku card will be a great card in FIFA 18. Moving on to go to Usman Dembele, the new Barcelona winger. And the big question with him is which position will he be? We've gone with a left winger there um, for now. And yeah, eight or rating, 93 pace, five star skills, five star weak foot. He's gonna be, He's going to be amazing in the new FIFA, especially in Ultimate Team in Foot Champions. We're going to need a fast, skillful winger who gets the job done, who just is reliable, who is so exciting to use. And I think this one to watch card will be one of those cards which you will love to use in so many different teams. And his price is going to be sky high at the start of the game. Moving on now in the top 10, going to go Benucci. Bit of a surprise, maybe. Um, although for me, I think he deserves an 88 rating. He is outstanding. For me, one of the best defenders in the world is Benucci. I think he's great and just one of those players that's been around for a long time but he keeps getting better with age it seems so I think he could get this card obviously a massive transfer to AC Milan from Juventus it's a bit of a surprise a bit of a curveball this one but I think A tier rating guys for Benucci yeah I think that's probably maybe right for him now we're going to Alexandra Lacazette from Arsenal I've gone with 87 I've uh, while making this I'm thinking maybe 86 but yeah I've gone with 87 for now in due course he'll probably achieve that rating and I think that'll be an amazing card to have in FIFA 18. I think this is going to be one of the probably more difficult cards to predict as you know he's a great striker, just you don't know what EA are thinking. Um, but yeah, I'll go with 87 for that um, for now, but part of me is like, you know what, 86 would be perfect, but still, I'm okay with 87. Now guys, on to James Rodriguez. I do think this guy will have a very good season by me, and I think, I think he'll just refine himself. I feel like Real Madrid, he was still good but not as good as he should have been. And I think there's a few reasons for that. I think in a way, Isco actually outshone Rodriguez in the end around Madrid, but I still think there's a world-class player there who will rediscover his old form. That form that made him such a highlight reel at the World Cup in Brazil in 2014, like he scored so many wonder goals. And I think we'll, we'll see that again from uh, Rodriguez this season of Bayern. I think he'll probably get a few in forms. I'll go for like three or four. I'll go for three in forms, maybe 90 rates in form being his best one. And yeah, I think that'll be a really cool card in the new foot. Another transfer that somehow went a bit under the radar. A lot of people didn't realize this happened, especially on deadline day. People were actually confused in the stream like Matt, Where's Matuidi gone? He's gone to Juve. He went to Juve about two weeks ago now, and he is a very good signing. Although, at the same time, people are saying, yes, it was a ridiculously cheap fee. I think it was around £20 million for that transfer from Matuidi to Juve. But still, people are like, you know what? That's, is there a reason that he was that cheap? Is he just, is, was he, is he not as good as you think? But I've gone for 86 rating there for Matuidi with the new Juventus logo. It still looks a bit strange. But that card would just be perfect for hybrids, especially being in Italian league with obviously so many Italians in that league. And yeah, I think it's gonna be a great card in uh, FIFA 18. Now onto a guy who I think will get a lot of informs this year and I just love this player. I think he's gonna be so good for us. I can't wait to see him more play downfield. And just, he's just, he's electrifying to watch. He really is. And the fact that he's actually quite clinical now as well, he's added that to his game. And I think he's gonna get a few informs. This to me though, could be his first ones to watch card. I think he'll be probably 83 realistically, but I would give him 84. Just maybe, is that, I don't know, maybe I'm just being a bit too like, 
biased, well, which I never try to be. I'm really neutral, I try to be neutral as I can. Um, but yeah, 84, maybe a bit high, but I'd love to see that card. Now onto a card we've all talked about and we all cannot wait to use in the new FIFA. It's got to be Kylian Mbappe locked in the new PSG transfer. Mbappe is going to be one of those players that we all cannot wait to use and he's going to be so fast in game. I think he's in game stats will be really, really good, very strong in game stats, and I think he'll be a very uh, just clinical striker that you can get for, I reckon he'll be, I don't know, it's not the game, he'll be maybe 30, 40k at the start, maybe, maybe more, um, it depends obviously on his rating, but I think he'll be a very desirable card that will be probably um, more difficult than you think to pack, I think he'll be a very, very good once to watch card, and if he did, if, if these players don't get a once to watch card, then I'll be very surprised by some of them, obviously Neymar will definitely get one um, but yeah these guys hopefully will all get one they should do and Mbappe should be a great ones to watch card. Douglas Cost now guys gone with 84 rating had it like very I'd say for him a bit of an average season but I think he'll refine himself a bit like Rodriguez I felt like they lost that fun self I felt like they're very fun players to watch kind of similar in that sense very um, very what's the word probably like they have a lot of flair to their game I think Douglas Cost it will really flourish at Juve he's so good um, as a player, like I remember seeing him in the Champions League, I think it was two seasons ago, when he just tore apart Arsenal's defence. And this guy, he's got the talent to be a great player, and I think he'll find that talent at Juve even more. I think he'll be great, actually. And I think they've got a buy option for Douglas Costa. But yeah, I've gone with 84 rating there, guys, for Douglas Costa. Let me know if you disagree or agree with any of these ratings in the comments down below. Moving on, though, to the final player here. Obviously, going to go with Neymar here, 93 rating i think with such a massive transfer and the fact he scored or done something in every single game so far for psg makes me think he could get that one upgrade to 93. i wouldn't be surprised if they stay the same i'd be very surprised if they downgrade him um as i don't think he's deserved to be downgraded but i think he'll go with 93 there guys for neymar 92 pace on that card as well with his ones to watch item by the way if you didn't know like a lot of you may not know this but when you talk about like fifa cards it's actually item you may not know that but yeah that's like the copy not copyright but well it is like yeah bit of a confusing one and off topic i know but i think at gamescom a lot of people talking about it like it's actually you've got to call it item so yeah that's a bit of a um maybe not known thing about fifa items but yeah um neymar neymar's item will be a very good one ninth rating for me i've gone for there 92 pace 97 dribbling and those are the one swatch cards I think we could be getting in FIFA 18. What do you guys think? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments as well. Leave a like if Mark can hit 7.5 thousand likes. 7.5 thousand likes? Really? Wow, my math is not doing great today. 7,500 likes in one hour. I will stream tomorrow night. That'll be awesome if you can do that. And my God, these cards are going to be so electrifying in FIFA 18.